A420 MSP back with Dwayne Robach over at Blue Star. How you doing, Dwayne? Looks life's a beach. Look at you in that background. <laughs> yeah, beautiful background. I, I wish it were like this. Uh, I actually live in Cincinnati, so it's uh, pretty cool today. Um, uh, I think the first day uh, below freezing. Uh, oh, man. This morning, yeah. So frost on the grass and stuff like that. So that's yeah. we're coming into winter. Hey, uh, you and I attended MJ BizCon, and doggone it, we we're both so busy. We actually didn't see each other, but what's your take on MJ BizCon this year? What uh, the, the good, the bad, the ugly? I mean, everything was uh, predominantly good for me. Um, you know, with, with regard to MJ Biz, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I've been telling everybody, I think uh, people are tired of virtual conferences and uh, looking forward to getting together. And so, um, you know, I had a chance to uh, speak with some of the folks from uh, MJ Biz while I was there. And then speaking with them, you know, I made the comment that it seemed a little light to me. And, um, you know, the numbers they threw out, you know, seemed to be right on par with uh, what they had in uh, 2019 in terms yeah. of confirmed registration. So, you know, we're looking at... Uh, over uh, 30,000. And, uh, um, and, you know, they did tell me that they had widened the show floors and uh, they had that uh, separate area um, with did. the Hall of Flowers on the side. And so, you know, the way they strategically positioned the booths and made it wider gave you more space. And then uh, the other thing we have to think about is uh, none of the, you know, most of the international people were not able to attend because of, uh, you know, the, the rules here in the United States. And so I do know, um, next year, you know, they're anticipating expansion and, um, you know, this is probably going to be the, uh, you know, last year in that hall, um, as they're growing, because, uh, as you were walking around, it, you know, it was no empty spaces and, yeah. um, you know, so it, it's, it's good to see, you know, because, um, uh, it's good to see that because I think a lot of people were um, gauging, you know, like how the cannabis industry was going to do based off of the attendance at that show. So based off of what I saw, um, I think we're in for a uh, very, you know, fruitful year for uh, yeah. 2022 and beyond. Um, yeah, exactly. Now you, uh, and, and we've had this talk before, but Blue Star itself, typically doesn't have a booth on the floor, but you sponsor your resellers. Was that the case again this year? That was, um, you know, this year we had a, uh, a variety of resellers who, you know, were doing everything from uh, RFID um, to, you know, the traditional point of sale track and trace, uh, you know, um, barcode scanning and labels. Um, being a distributor, um, our business model is uh, B2B. And so, um, we highlight our resellers versus uh, putting ourselves in front of a consumer show just creates too much confusion. Um, you know, yeah. explaining, you know, our business model. So, um, you know, if, if here's a shameless plug, but if there's any resellers out there um, that want to consider exhibiting, you know, at a show like MJ biz, I'd say, you know, hit me up and uh, you know, I can see what type of funds we have to uh, help them out you know, in that endeavor. Yep. What's, uh, what's next? What, are, what, what's the next show you're going to? You've been, you, you've been getting the elite mileage this, uh, summer and fall, Mike, <laughs> you're a traveling man. Anything, uh, on the docket for 2021 or, is, uh, are the shows over? No, um, there, there is a show in New York, the, uh, Cannabis World Congress and Business Expo, CWCBE, which is happening, uh, next week at the Javits Center. Um, okay. And with uh, New York being uh, probably, you know, well, there's no probably in terms of a city in North America, that's the largest market. And, um, you know, with them uh, going ahead and looking to uh, legalize um, adult use cannabis, I anticipate that that will be a big show. Um, actually, I believe that show starts this week. Um and so I will not be attending that because uh, I had a vacation scheduled. Um, <laughs> I really wanted to be there, but I won't be attending that. But I will be um, at your show in February. So Yes, sir. Shout yes, it sir. out, Harry. Tell yeah, us about yeah. it. Canatech Expo, uh, mm -hmm. a co-located show inside IT Expo. 
um, it's uh, it's all that. Um, in fact, we'll 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 get back together with you and double click into that. We'll make that our next yeah. podcast. Well, no, I got to give you a shameless plug. Any if you like the background behind me, imagine this in February. That's what's going to be at that show in. I know. Uh, yeah, in, in Fort Lauderdale. So no, I mean, it's not a hard sell. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be. Uh, especially for you know those of us that live in uh, you know the northern states, uh, it should be a nice uh, getaway. Yes, sir. All right. Well, it looks like you're on vacation already with that background. Enjoy your vacation. We'll talk to you next time. Hey, thank you, Harry. Um, take care of yourself and uh, talk to you soon.